What's up guys, this is Mert Music, and welcome to the history of overpowered guns in Call of Duty. My initial plan for this video was to use the most overpowered gun in every single Call of Duty game, starting with the very first Call of Duty up until Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But that's not gonna happen. There ain't gonna be half of the Call of Duty games. Unfortunately, when I recorded every single Call of Duty game on console, the footage got corrupted. I'll most likely have that footage playing as the backdrop, but I can't sync it up with my face cam, there's no audio. It was just a really weird thing that happened, but I'm still gonna make this video. It's basically gonna be like a part one. So this video is gonna have the history of overpowered guns on PC, and then I'm gonna do like a console version later. And I'll have to replay all of the Call of Duty games that I just recorded yesterday. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video. What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to the history of overpowered guns in Call of Duty. This is going to be the biggest history of video yet. We're going to be attempting to play 20 Call of Duty games, starting with the very first Call of Duty up until Black Ops Cold War. It takes a lot of time, effort, and patience. I can't stress the patience part of this enough to make these videos possible. Sometimes these older Call of Duty games are either having server issues or there's just not enough people playing. But today I'm going to do my best to play every single Call of Duty game that I can, and we're going to use the most overpowered guns in each game. So with that being said, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, because this is going to be a big video. If you guys want to see more history of Call of Duty videos like this one, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can break over 30,000 likes on this video. But without further ado, let's start with the very first Call of Duty game. Call of Duty. <laughs> I played the very first Call of Duty recently. I mean, I think I'm banned on almost every server. I don't know why. I'm gonna try to do this Donville server. Let's see if I can have... I'm banned from that server. Great. Okay. I guess I can try the Carrington server. Why not? Now, the way these history of Call of Duty videos work is that I only get a minute to play each Call of Duty game and use the most overpowered gun, and I have to try to get as many kills as I can. So yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see which Call of Duty game has the most overpowered gun and which one I can get the most kills in. I really don't know what the strongest gun in the first Call of Duty game is. I would maybe argue it's the M1 Garand because it gets like really consistent one-shot kills. I don't think there's, there's not actually anyone in here. I guess MP Harbor. Can we try this one? Hopefully I'm not banned from this one either. I'm just restricted to these guns. I don't know if any of them are overpowered, but we have the PPSH. Here we go. And go. Here we are on the first Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's overpowered. I don't think anything is. I'm pretty sure these are all bots because this is all I can find. I'm banned from everything else. So that's cool. But yeah, I mean, I was going to go with the M1 Garand because that thing can get one-shot headshots. Oh my, are you an enemy? That's, I got punched. Wow. All right. This is going about as well as I thought it was going to for the first Call of Duty game. We got Bot95. We're going to follow him. Come on. Come on. Where are they? There's an enemy, I think. No. Oh, there's one. We got, what, two kills so far? <laughs> 20 seconds left. Come on, Eric. There's got to be more people around here somewhere. I just don't know. Oh, is this where they're spawning? Nope, that's a teammate. What? No, those are enemies! Get them! Double kill! I'm go. I think my connection is really bad to this server, too. Like, I'm, I'm lagging and shit. Oh. PPSH is pretty good, though. What, we got five kills? Oh! And it's over. And just like that, we have to leave the first Call of Duty game. I think I got five kills with the PPSH. It's not a bad start. I'm pretty sure it was all bots, though. <laughs> but now we're gonna move on to Call of Duty 2. It might- It's gonna work. Okay, sweet. Okay, we have extreme CTF. <laughs> it's extreme! Oh, boy. World of War sounds. Nice. All we have is bolts right now, so I don't know. Maybe we'll use the Springfield unscoped. I really don't know. And here we go. We're starting the timer. I might have already spent some time in this server, but I'm redoing it because I suck. There we go. No scope. There you go, Eric. Another one. I'm destroying. Now I'm actually destroying. What the f When I started this, I was talking about like how nothing's overpowered in COD 2. I'm I'm kinda killing it. Wait. Was I about to feed? Dude, I'm discussing with this. I mean, I think this is like some heavily custom server i didn't like intentionally mean to join something like that it's just what i found but i like it it's clearly pretty awesome oh god where's he where are you going shit we might be able to set the record on this if i'm lucky enough how many kills do i have i don't know uh go 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 there's only seven seconds no grenade and now i'm almost dead come back up do it and we ran out of time. That was so unlucky. I killed it at the start, but then I couldn't do anything. It was a pretty cool server though. I enjoy it. For some reason, the server has like some kind of custom mod that changes your screen to look like, I think Black Ops 2. I don't completely understand it, but it's pretty cool. But now we're moving on to COD 4. Okay, so here we are in Call of Duty 4. And I mean, as far as it goes for overpowered guns, it's kind of hard to say. COD 4 is a pretty balanced game overall. I don't know if anything is necessarily overpowered, but I think the closest thing would be the M16. I don't have red dot sights, so I'm gonna have to suffer a little bit. We can maybe put on the grenade launcher. And even though this isn't necessarily the most ideal M16, 
16 class. I do have a class with the AK-74U, which is also pretty good. High XP kill house. And we're clicking the start button. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Why am I climbing? We got one. There's too many? There's too many? I'll try to get as many kills as I can, though. What am I doing? Jesus. Why am I being so bad right now? Come on. I'm not properly warmed up. Alright, that's it. Hold up, hold up. We're gonna switch midway through. Next OP gun. The AK. 70 for you. Because it'll be better. Look at it go. Dude! The AK-74, it's gonna dominate on Kill House. Look at that. Don't even have deep impact on. Just nothing but pre-firing through here. Look at that shit. This is crazy. Just Brady! Come on, we look like eight seconds! There's a guy right here. What are we doing? Lads! I picked up another- Aw, oh, man. I don't know when we ran out of time, but I'm pretty sure we have the record right now. I don't know if I got like six, seven, eight kills. I really don't know. I want to keep playing this through, though. I, this is crazy. It makes me so happy to see it like a populated kill house server on here. This is awesome. Dude! I love it. It's just, it's instant multis the second you come down here. Okay, well, if I don't catch myself, I'm going to be playing this all day. <laughs> I know that was a little bit messy because I switched between the M16 and the AK-74U, but they're both pretty top tier in COD 4. But next up on the list is World at War. First off, let's find the most overpowered gun. It's not the DP-28, that's for sure. <laughs> Hands down, the most overpowered gun in World at War was the MP40. I don't have dual mags unlocked, at least not on PC. I mean, all of my prestiging, my unlocks are on Xbox 360, but the servers are just too dead. Also, the name was probably one of the strongest guns in Call of Duty history. It's not the most ideal class build, but we're gonna go for it. Free tag is here. Old Fart Squad. What am I looking at? I probably belong in Old Fart Squad, to be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one because it looks like a regular multiplayer server. No bots. I'm clicking start now because we got spawn trapped by artillery, and I don't want that to be the start. So here we go. This is our actual start. Look at that. We got a recon plane. In the corner. What a surprise. Wow, he's camping there with a Type 100. Okay. This is already kind of a difficult lobby, but I want to show you guys how good the MP40 is as it gets a million hit markers from that range. Oh my. Ooh, Taboon guess. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to really show off how strong the MP40 is right now in these specific situations. Th this thing is absolutely a beast, though. Come on. If we had dome with dual mags, oh shit. 18 seconds. Come on, Eric. Oh my. Oh, that ugly... Like, reload cancel, though. I'm actually nervous because I want to show you guys how good the MP40 is, but I'm just like, I'm fucking up. Come on. Now. What really makes the MP40 in World of War so good is the fact that it has a really good hip fire. A lot of people would just drop shot. You could use stopping power or double tap. Juggernaut if you wanted to stay alive longer, but you could really make this thing's damage just insanely powerful. He's in that head glitch spot. That is such a douchey spot. For the Call of Duty games that I really like, I'm going to play them a little bit longer. Look at that. Look at that. I think what makes the MP40 so overpowered is just the fact that you could just brainlessly hip fire and do well with it. I mean, what even is that? I could play this all day too, though. I gotta stop. But our next Call of Duty game is gonna be Modern Warfare 2, but we're gonna be doing IW4X to find servers. It's basically modded Modern Warfare 2 on PC. You guys have seen me play this before. It's just gonna be way easier to find a game. So here we are on IW4X. I'm not gonna use any of these, like, custom guns for Modern Warfare 2, only the base ones. This one's actually a really tough pick too, but I think I already know what I'm gonna go for. <laughs> I think from a technical standpoint, the TAR-21 and the UMP with stopping power have, like, some of the highest DPS in the game, but that's not exactly what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using this. That's right, guys guys, the grenade launcher. And to be a real piece of shit, we're gonna combo that with one-man army and danger close pro. And to be even more evil, let's just throw on last stand. Why not? I don't know if all the servers are going to allow a class like this, so I also have the UMP just in case. Okay, we got TDM on Scrapyard. I don't know if I'll be able to noob tube or not, but clearly the grenade launcher with danger close was the strongest, most overpowered, and broken thing in Modern Warfare 2. Okay, this one's got grenade launchers banned. And here we go. We got our UMP class. Noob tubes are banned. I'm kind of emo about it, but I can understand why. The UMP is insane, though. It's kind of up there with the MP40 in terms of what it can do. Except it doesn't have, like, the crazy dual mag option. And you can run extended mags, but more people would use the silencer on it so that way you can stay hidden. I don't know. It was just the vibe. It's the vibes, bro. Don't fuck this up, Eric. Come on. We got four kills. A little bit over halfway. Not bad. 
Oh my god. That range though, bro? What are we at? Six kills? You would flash me. Oh! Your boy's nasty, let's go! Can I turn it around, get more? No! I don't know if I squeezed in that 10th kill, but I think we got nine? Oh, we got Harriers, hold up. We got nuke, we got nuke this lobby. Let's go, Eric. Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh my, no, don't die, don't die. I got the chopper gunner. This is a terrible spot to call, but we're gonna go. We're gonna nuke. I gotta do it for you guys. Come on. I hope they don't find me. Please don't find me. I I'm in a horrible spot, but I don't care. Come on, Eric. Let's drop a nuke for this video. They're trying to take me out. Come on. Don't let it happen. Let's get a nuke. Maybe the chopper gunner is the most overpowered gun in the game. Oh shit. We got a nuke! Holy shit! I can't believe I got a nuke. You guys have to drop like for that. Holy shit. Good lord, man. That just shows how good the ump is. I mean, it got this whole entire streak started. And we're gonna call it in. Oh my god. That's crazy, bro. You know, I don't always expect to get this lucky when I join into a game. Sometimes I might only get a couple kills, even in a game where something's really good. But I can't believe we just did that. We're at 46. Got the most kills in here and I just joined. All right, now let's leave. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. It's really early to call it, but I think the UMP might be the winner. But sadly now we're gonna have to play Black Ops 4. <laughs> I'm sad that I have to play this. <laughs> <laughs> this game's existence, you know what I'm saying? Now the reason we're on Black Ops 4 on PC is because I refuse to install this piece of shit on my PS4. So yeah, I'm only level one. I don't have any custom classes, nothing. But we'll try to find a Nuketown game and I'll just use something, I guess. I don't know. 100% without a doubt, the most overpowered broken gun in Black Ops 4 was the Stingray with like the explosive rounds. Oh, oh, we got a game. People actually play this. We got TDM on firing range. I think I can use a controller. I don't know. What happened? I don't want to have to sit around for- No, come on! Please restart the game! Oh my- <laughs> Why the fuck would I have to restart the game just for trying to play a match? Oh boy, we got TDM on Morocco. This map was great. Is it actually gonna work?! I swear to god, if you boot me out of the game one more time, I'm skipping. I mean, hey, I have no problem skipping this game. How is- Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Is this game just trolling me because of the RIP Black Ops 4 video? I, I don't care, I won't play you. Fine! Our next Call of Duty game is Warzone. Actually, it's Modern Warfare, but Warzone has taken over. I mean, look, look at the disrespect, that, the size of the Warzone logo compared to Modern Warfare. They don't care. You would think that I'm loading up Cold War right now. This is Modern Warfare, guys. As far as it goes for the most overpowered gun in Modern Warfare, there's probably quite a bit. There's actually just so many guns in Modern Warfare that are good that this is actually a really hard decision. This game's gotten DLC guns that have been pretty crazy, especially the Jack 12 shotgun. I'm probably gonna use this full auto shotgun with 32 rounds on shipment. It's clearly the best choice. That's just my personal pick. I know that there could be arguments for other guns as well, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, we got TDM on Kill House. Hopefully we can do pretty good. And here we go. Click start. Let's get it. Never mind. <laughs> He's got the Origin 12. The actual Brecci of the game. For fuck's sake! Come on! I can't even show off how good this thing is. I'm just getting camped on. We got one kill though. There we go, he's done. Just come over here and die, please. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna play the smart. We don't have to necessarily be super fast with this thing. Pussy has bit. <laughs> Is someone a little salty? I mean, this thing's crazy good. It's ridiculous. We'll call in the VTOL, why not? Don't make that guy even saltier. I feel so slow with it right now though, I don't know why. Come on. I'm actually getting beasted by all the other shotguns. The Origin 12, all, you know, all the shotguns, they win. They're all overpowered, there you go. And we are out of time. How many kills did I get? I got eight, that's not bad. I could have probably gotten more kills if I waited for shipment, but we gotta keep it going. So now we're gonna move on to Black Ops Cold War. And it's my favorite COD game. Okay, so we're here on Black, <laughs> Black Ops Cold War. Ew. And this game is overly balanced and pretty boring. I don't even know if there is anything that's overpowered. Okay, actually the Street Sweeper is pretty good. Nothing else in the game is quite that broken yet. Maybe we'll get some DLC later on that's more broken. It's still a hard call though, because the Street Sweeper with the gung-ho glitch, which has still not been patched, is really good, but it really just shines more in hardcore. And here we go, we're starting with whatever this class is. Can we- Yep, you can still gung-ho with the Street Sweeper. But this is not all that meta anymore. At least I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, it's still pretty good. 
Yeah, it's not as good. They nerfed it a little bit. You can still do the gung-ho glitch, which I think is stupid. I can't believe after all this time they didn't try to find a real fix, but... Hey, that's Cold War for you. Ah! What are we at? <laughs> Someone salty. <laughs> I don't know if I have four kills or not, or if that's only three. I'm gonna keep doing it, though. Little did this guy know that I'm trying to use the most overpowered broken shit today. I think I've ruffled some feathers, guys. Oh, I know there's people here. Get to them. I don't know why I'm sliding. Eh. Oh! Dude! I'm kind of destroying- Oh, it's over. <laughs> I got nine kills, so that was pretty good. Just so you guys know, too, when I'm making these videos, I kind of have to go all over the place as far as it goes for platforms, so I don't know what the current record is. I don't know what it is, but having to constantly, like, delete and reinstall these Call of Duty games to get everything to work is just- It, like, sucks the life out of me. I just wish everything would work for once. <laughs> okay, so we're here on Call of Duty Online, and as far as it goes for the most overpowered guns, it's these crazy variants that you actually would have to spend a lot of money on to get. Now, even though Call of Duty Online has variants, they don't necessarily give a ton of stat boost compared to games like Advanced Warfare or Infinite Warfare. A lot of this shit is cosmetic. Some of the bonuses are mostly in PvE from what I know. But I think technically speaking, the AK-117 is one of the like best guns in this game. There's the base version. I'd have to buy it. I'll try to make a build of the AKBP because this thing's pretty good too. Here we get... Oh, I hate this map. No! And... Here we go. Click start. We have the AKBP. I don't think this is an AK we've seen in, in like in any other Call of Duty game, but give it a go. Wow. Okay, that's a good start. This is one of those that has spawn protection too. I'm a little worried. I see it coming. There's one. Come on. What the fuck? It's already halfway over. I hate this map. Chinese Call of Duty is awesome. Oh, this is ruining it. Where is he? I- What? I could not see him. I'm not even gonna try to watch that kill cam. Because we have like one kill. I gotta do better than that. Come on. I'm stuck. I hate this fucking map. All right. I got two. Not bad. Can I get a third? Oh, my- My aim. Oh, we're killing it. The connection actually felt pretty good for a second. But I think- I think we're out of time. Yep, it's over. Oh man. Well guys, here we are. We're on our 20th Call of Duty game. It's gonna be our last one for this video. It is Call of Duty Mobile. I guess COD and Mobile because I'm on PC. I just got it working on my PC again. I haven't played in quite some time. So I don't necessarily know it's overpowered, but I'm gonna try to use something good. We got some newer guns. They have the Peacekeeper, the FAMAS, and the AS Val. It's legit really hard for me to say if anything's overpowered in COD Mobile. I can't really speak to it. Especially since this is a newer game, you know? I mean, oh, I do have the Brecci really high up though. We just wanted to increase to one level. Let's use what we have to. There you go. So now we've got a ton of ammo for this thing. There you go. I mean, there's our builds. I think the best part about Call of Duty Mobile is that you can pick the exact map and game mode you want. I mean, that's amazing. And here we go. Start of the timer. I don't know how I'm going to do, honestly. Oh, God. What was that? The lag, though. Come on. I'm playing this on blue stacks. Because I couldn't get my other, like, launcher going. But we'll see. It's not completely terrible. Stamp. Is that guy invisible for a second? What the fuck? This is so weird. I I'm actually just so out of it because this is not what I'm used to at all. I'm trying to- Oh, we're already halfway out of time. Load! Let's get the UAV up. Come on. What is that? Did he just fire a rocket launcher? No. Knock it off. Oh, oh my. Eric, what are you doing? He's there? Get the sleight of hand reload. There we go. Blop it up. Oh my lord. Dude, I'm kind of destroying- Oh, we're out of time though, dang it. Oh man, I, I, I was finally starting to get a feel for it. We got nine kills, that's not bad. Well, that was our last Call of Duty game, so thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the history of overpowered guns in Call of Duty. If you made it this far, if you made it to the end, you are awesome. Thank you so much for watching the entirety of this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching me try to use the most overpowered guns in every single Call of Duty game. I think personally, out of all 20 of these Call of Duty games, just the experience I had on Modern Warfare 2 getting the nuke, that was just crazy. Since all of this is kind of recorded out of order because of all the different platforms I have to play on, I don't necessarily know which game I got the most kills in, so we're gonna find out right now. Drum roll, please.
here's our winner guys this is the game and the gun that i got the most kills in for this video but with that being said i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did it and you want to see some more history of call of duty videos make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later i don't need it i don't need it i don't i don't i don't i don't need a dime